Now that's what you call a call. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. Did you help? Yeah. Are you good? Uh, I got it. Well, you got fish one though on your jig, Jerry. Nine K jig. Yeah. I don't know. He might not keep after all. You can tell me if you want, but I don't I'll, think he is. I'll yeah. check him out. Jimmy and I are on Juno Lake in Southern Michigan. Fishing a tournament run by Clear H2O Tackle in the Dodesburg. Best tackle shot we're going to find. It is definitely a post-spawn deal here. It is cold, 48 degrees this morning. That's why we're all bundled, bundled up. What is it? Memorial Day weekend, May 28th. Let's see how many different baits it takes to win this tournament. What you got? That might keep, buddy. That might keep. Yeah. I, I give him a little. Long. Put them on that butcher's baits magnum trick worm I've been throwing. Gotta check that out. We got a promo code for that below. Save you some money on all their stuff. Butcher's baits. Yeah, we got. We want this one, Benel. He's not three, but he's, he's two, I'd say. He's definitely two. Yeah. That's how you start the day. That's how you start the day. Post spawn's almost like junk fishing in the fall. You just gotta be ready to try a whole bunch of different stuff. Hope to catch one fish here, one fish there. So we're we start this tournament in, in an actual Well, I don't want to tell you exactly where we're at, but we're definitely in a channel. And uh fished the whole way back nothing 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 and then finally get to the very back and we caught some fish all in a matter of five minutes yeah yeah uh, it might, be, it might just be swing. Yeah, I think you gotta keep it though, don't you? I don't know. He doesn't look like it. Nope. Yeah, that looks like a keep it. Yeah. Skipped underneath that fine field boat. Alright, we'll get keep it number two, I think. You see gonna do like a yeah. Right here in the same area, there's one pontoon boat I skip underneath and boom, ate it right away. Tried several baits out here and it definitely seems like they like the butcher's magnum trick worm. Did I mention there's a link to those below with a promo code? That is the pain of braid. You might have noticed, as I set the hook, my, my line twirled around my rod tip. Ugh. Well, I got a fish, but it's gonna be a pain cleaning this up. That number three. All that worm. Oh my gosh, Jerry. Sure is working. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh man, he was barely hooked too, buddy. Mm. God work. Barely. Have I mentioned butcher's baits yet? Huh? I mentioned, you know what's different about their worms and others? Scent. You can pick out, I think, three different scents they got. These are all shad, uh, scrawdad sh scented. Look at that, look at that. Yeah. They work. Yeah.
Took out my worm, jerk. Five to number five. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, even on five, I'm pretty right. sure. It's just not, I ain't no good. It's not a bad one. Might be number five. I think he's shrinking as he's got in here. <laughs> Our third biggest fish. Yeah. Worming, the weeds I think are very important. These fish, we fish the whole side of this channel is covered with wood. Never got bit. Well, I guess we got one doing that. But we get into these weeds on the other side, that's where the fish seem to be. Now that's what you call a call. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. That was a big fish for Jeremy and I. We spent, I think, an hour on that fish to get the bite. And man, we threw everything we think at it. And the uh, only thing I, I tried, I, I went all the way to a small bluegill-ish colored swim bait because I believe I saw it chasing off some bluegills. And I've done that in the past, I get a totally different reaction. Even though it's on a drop shot still with all the other baits I put on that drop shot, trying to at least match the color scheme to what it was chasing away. I don't know why that fish was there, uh, but man, dog about post-spawn deal, that I added bonus can always be a nice fish sitting on a bed somewhere. And that was definitely a bonus for us. That's got us close to 12 pounds, and which I would say is gonna have us close to being competitive. 
You know, I think it's safe to say that we hit the day it kind of went the way we expected. It was really junk fishing during the full spawn. We got keepers from docks. We got uh, keepers off a of bed. We got keepers with a uh, finesse worm, keepers with jigs. And it, the fish were kind of just scattered here, there, and everywhere. We certainly saw a lot cruising around. But I think the moral of the story is, <clears throat> it's going to sound a little like a dull statement but you just got to keep grinding and you can't you, every every different corner you go around every spot you come up to you have to diagnose it individually there's no real dominant pattern across this lake we got a decent limit i'm not saying we're going to win but i think we're in decent shape and there's only one thing left to do and that's to go weigh him but you know who i don't like seeing back there it's that mike graber guy guy beats me i'm sick and tired of losing that guy what we're going to see today real life that. What was that weight? Three One more Thank you. 11-14. Well, it wasn't all that bad, Jeremy. Third place finish here. What a big shout out to Clear H2O Tackle for putting this thing on. We beat Mike Raber. We did. We beat him. Thank goodness. Been a while since we could beat that guy. At least me. He's had my number. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time, we'll see you in the water.